So, the last episode, we started out the, uh, our trip to the Cavern of Chaos. Which is called Devil Cave of Chaos in Japanese. I think that's kind of interesting. <laughs> like, what? Although, to be fair, the, um... Okay... Um... Don't exactly need any whites at the moment. Do they actually give anything, I wonder? If it's just connector. Like... Okay. I didn't know that they gave potions. Um. Now I kind of feel stupid for passing them up. Huh? And now we can um get. Was that all? Or was that Ludenfeld? feel like it is. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get, can get to them. Okay. Cool. Um, can I get to this one, please? There we go. Okay, that was an easy floor. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why they decided to put a rest floor after, like... I know why they put a rest floor after a boss floor, but like... Why did they have it so that the boss floor can have a, um, Queen Kenny Pop bud... ...before the rest floor? So what sense does it make? Oh, okay. Back in Satan's domain... Um... It really is Satan's Domain. Holy shit. Okay... Um... Hmm. Okay... Okay. Um, hmm. Ah, I see what I need to do now. At least I think I see what I need to do. Here was a blue too. They, those are important. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Wait, no. Why don't I just spam purples? Okay... Um... I'm trying to wait to get around Satan over there. Okay... <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I'll just forget it. That part right now. Let's start over here. Um, yeah. As you all know, um, I've been playing a bit of Minecraft, and, uh, I recently started mining again since, like, spending my Minecraft, and, uh, because I didn't really do that a term. Or because, like, I kinda wanted to start building things, and then I kinda realized that uh, I might, or might actually need to go mining again because of my lack of resources. Or well, my resources were starting to decline. 
Let's get Satan. Wait, shit. Okay, got two. That's not too bad. It could have been worse. Okay. Is it all the church here or like what? <laughs> Looks like there's. Unless something's buried. So I don't think that's going to be the last one. But yeah, um. As I was expanding my mine shaft in the opposite direction because I reached the um, wall. It got another one. But yeah, um. As I was expanding my mine shaft, uh. I happened across a stronghold, and uh, <laughs> I've never actually found a thingy thing before, so that was fun. <laughs> I haven't found a one for myself before, and uh, I was a little bit surprised because um. Like, I could have come across, like, part of the stronghold that would have looked like a corridor, but, like, no, um, I walked my way into the, um, nether, the portal room. So now, when I, or when I decided to go to the end and defeat the ender dragon, uh, Instead of fooling around trying to find the thing. Really? Is, is this how I lose a lot of my Pikmin? <laughs> I feel like this might be an overset. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Is there a ray around this? Cause I don't think there is. It was up there. Well, that was painful. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna give myself a safety re up the stu stupidity reset. It was stupidity reset because uh, that that wasn't that that was not a good. So um, see you when I've collected all the treasures again now. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Okay. So I got stupidly lucky here, um, as both treasures were on this side, and the bollywog that had the treasure was also on this side. So <laughs> that went remarkably better than before. Like, a lot better. Although, that being said, uh... <laughs> I kind of feel guilty for resetting, although, to be fair, um... Mm. I think, yeah, that was like the first time I felt like resetting and actually reset. <laughs> So I feel like I can have at least that one. Oh, oh great, okay. Oh, there's even more behind the wall. 
Why the fuck don't walls work in this game? Could they just fucking work, please? So that red is in the fucking poison. I'm fairly sure it is in the poison. Wait, did they? Oh, Wither and Blighthogs even in Pikmin 3? Okay, good. He decided that he wanted to come along. That's fun. I, I need to see the pattern now. Okay. Be like, I don't understand why they decided to add a smaller version of the enemy. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. That would make sense. Now that it carries the treasure back. So, where the hell is the treasure exactly? Okay. Oh, wait, do I? <laughs> I was gonna say, because the exit is up there, we don't really need to worry about these guys, but um, no. We still do. Even though. We still do. Oh. <laughs> like, we still do because there's a gate there. Okay. Being safe, because I'm not sure if it's buried. How did you. Truckers do that exactly. Hmm. <laughs> well, at least I know now that I can easily get it through there. Okay. I feel like anyway we come, um, he's gonna get the drop on us. That's what I feel like right now. Okay. Yeah. Back on the point that I found a stronghold by simply mining into it. Uh, I'm not too sure, but the one I end up the one I ended up finding was like pretty shit. I feel like. Okay. Can you like. Tuck. Okay. And of course, a single blue takes the nectar. Okay. <laughs> so, treasures around here somewhere. Hopefully. Oh, it's supposedly laughing at us. Not cool, dude. <laughs> Not cool. Kid. 
I just realized that these guys aren't really in Pikmin 3. Oh. The blowhogs aren't even in Pikmin 3 that much. <laughs> like, I can think of one encounter where. Or one part where he's. Or where it's in there. I think. And I think that might be all of it as well, so. <laughs> I think Nintendo learnt the lesson on the use of the Pluffy Boat Blowhogs. As in, probably not to reuse them. Or <laughs> don't spam every level with them. Okay. So now, <laughs> I think we've gone through the worst of the whole Pluffy, Puffy Blowhole dungeon design thing. But I still kind of say that, I still kind of think that, um, they should have made it so that, um, the Rush Brutes allow, or, well, yeah, the pus, yeah. Boots allow you to um allow your Pikmin to be able to um withstand the blasts. That'll like at the very least make it so that your pick of purple Pikmin can um withstand them by nature. Cause like. Wait. A pick oh, a winged Pikmin? Equally as thing to it? Oh This floor Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck you. Really? That's the only time the walls work is because of explosions. But, you know, wind just goes through. Excuse me. Um, this guy has... Okay. I'm hoping he's going to be distracted by that. Only because... <laughs> kinda get the feeling Pikmin is going to take that through there instead. I can kinda test it to see what happens if they go... or we go this way. Instead, although that being said, uh, <laughs> still need to go through this way because um, thingy things. But yeah, uh, <laughs> there's 54 of the, um, bob orbs. The dwarf bob orbs. 
So, uh, it, it, it's fun. It's like this is enemy placement in the Cavern of Chaos. I wanted to hope that it's fine. I'll take you all down. Well, I guess. Um. Wait. Why don't I test it out with the white Pikmin? Let's see what it does. Really? Okay. Yes, we can just do this. Okay then. I really wasn't expecting it to um just stay there and take a beating. Like, I seriously wasn't. <laughs> uh -huh. so... That leaves a fine treasure. Well, that leaves a. Totally? A treasure? Maybe? That we can't see yet. Hmm. <laughs> kind of get the feeling that it would. Well, the treasure gauge would probably still react. Still react. Unless there's only one treasure here. That could also be a possibility. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, hopefully there's something in between here and the final floor that will allow us to um, get a few more flowered Pikmin. There's that. But, um, I feel like next episode is when we finish this cave. And when will that be? <laughs> Not too sure. Okay. But yeah, this episode we continued on Cabin of Chaos getting to this pretty infamous room. The floor. I feel like there's one more floor that is way more infamous than this. 
But uh, until then, that has been all. See you. Bye.